Hello welcome to IT Expert YouTube video series. Today we are going to talk about Linux VI Editor. What is VI Editor? The default editor that comes with the Unix operating system is called VI. VI in the VI Editor stands for Visual Editor. It is a user-friendly and very powerful application that is available in all Linux distros. An improved version of VI Editors is Vim. Why are advantages? 1. It is available in almost all Linux distributions. 2. It works the same across different platforms and distributions. 3. It is user-friendly. Hence, millions of Linux users love it and use it for their editing needs. What are different modes in VI Editor? Command Mode Command Mode is the first screen of VI Editor. It is case-sensitive. Any character that is typed during this mode is treated as a command. These are character are not visible on the window. We can cut, copy, paste or delete a piece of text or even move through the file in this mode. Escape used to enter the command mode from insert mode. Insert mode. We can easily move from command mode to insert mode by pressing small case I or insert key from the keyboard. Characters typed in this mode is treated as input and add text to your file. Pressing escape will take you from insert mode to command mode. Escape mode. Press colon to move to the escape mode. This mode is used to save the files and execution of the commands. Explain all commands. Open or create a file. This will create a file with the name file name or open the file with the name file name if already exists. Read only mode. To open the file in read only mode use. Moving out of a file. Colon Q quit out of a file. To exit VI or VIM, type colon Q and hit enter. Colon Q exclamation quit the file without saving the changes. To exit without saving changes made. Press escape. You must be in insert or append mode if not, just start typing on a blank line to enter that mode. Press colon. The cursor should reappear at the lower left corner of the screen beside a colon prompt. The colon indicates that what follows is a Vim command. Enter the following Q exclamation. Then press enter. This will quit the editor, and abandon all changes you have made. All changes to the document will be lost. Colon W save the content of the editor. To exit with saving changes made. Press escape. You must be in insert or append mode if not, just start typing on a blank line to enter that mode. Press colon. The cursor should reappear at the lower left corner of the screen beside a colon prompt. The colon indicates that what follows is a Vim command. Enter W. Type W, the W indicates that the file should be written, or saved which will overwrite existing file. Then press enter. This will quit the editor, and write all changes you have made all changes to the document will be saved. Colon WQ, save the changes and quit the editor. To exit with saving changes made. Press escape. You must be in insert or append mode if not, just start typing on a blank line to enter that mode. Press colon. The cursor should reappear at the lower left corner of the screen beside a colon prompt. The colon indicates that what follows is a Vim command. Enter the following WQ. Type WQ, the W indicates that the file should be written, or saved which will overwrite existing file and the Q indicates that Vim should quit, or exit. Then press enter. This will quit the editor, and write all changes you have made all changes to the document will be saved. ZZ in command mode. This works similar to WQ. Rename a file. Colon W new file name. This will rename the file that you are currently working into new file name. A command is used in escape mode. Move within a file. To move around in a file without actually editing the content of a file. We must be in the command mode and keep the below commands handy. H command moves the cursor left one character position. L command moves the cursor right one character position. K command moves the cursor one line up. J command moves the cursor one line down. Arrows can help you remember the functionality of that key. It has no other significance. Inserting or adding text. Following is the command used to put the editor in the insert mode. Once the escape is pressed it will take the editor back to command mode. Small case I command for insert text before the cursor. Capital case I command for insert at the beginning of the current line. 
small case a command for append after the cursor. Capital case a command for append at the end of the current line. Small case o command for open and places the text in a new line below the current line. Capital case o command for open and places the text in a new line above the current line. Searching the text. Similar to the find and replace command in Windows Editor. We have certain search and replace command available in the VI editor as well. Forward slash string search the mentioned string in the forward direction. Question mark string search the mentioned string in the backward direction. Small case n move to the next available position of the search string. Capital case n move to the next available position of the search string in the opposite direction. Determining the line number. Having the line number is very useful sometimes while editing the file. These commands are used in escape mode that is after pressing the colon key. Colon full stop equal to command used to find line number of the current line. Colon equal to command used to gives the total number of lines. Caret sign with small case g gives line number along with the total number of lines in a file at the bottom of the screen. Lower I for insert mode. The following commands allow you to insert and add text. Each of these commands puts the VI editor into insert mode. Thus, the escape key must be pressed to terminate the entry of text and to put the VI editor back into command mode. Lowercase i, insert text before cursor, until escape hit. Uppercase i, insert text at beginning of current line, until escape hit. Small case a, append text after cursor, until escape hit. Uppercase a, append text to end of current line, until escape hit. Small case o, open and put text in a new line below current line, until escape hit. Uppercase O, open and put text in a new line above current line, until escape hit. X means delete characters. Deleting text. The following commands allow you to delete text. X, delete single character under cursor. NX, delete N characters, starting with character under cursor. DW, delete the single word beginning with character under cursor. DNW, Delete n words beginning with character under cursor. Example, d5w deletes 5 words. Uppercase d, delete the remainder of the line, starting with current cursor position. Lowercase dd, delete entire current line. ndd or dnd, delete n lines, beginning with the current line. Example, 5dd deletes 5 lines. Copy and vim the basics. The following commands allow you to copy text. Copying means yanking. Ye, copy the current line in VI. 3 ye, to yank multiple lines in Vim, type in the number of lines followed by ye. This command will copy three lines starting from your cursor position. Y dollar sign, copy everything from the cursor to the end of the line. Y caret sign, copy everything from the start of the line to the cursor. Ye you, copy the current word. Cutting in Vim the basics. The following commands allow you to cut text. Cutting or deleting. DD, cut the current line. 3DD, cut three lines, starting from the cursor. D dollar sign, cut everything from the cursor to the end of the line. Putting or pasting in Vim the basics. The following commands allow you to paste text. P uppercase, paste before your cursor. P lowercase, paste after your cursor. DD, delete line. Undo in Vim the basics. Vim keeps track of all the changes you made in the current session. The undo command undoes one or more changes in the order in which they were made. To undo changes in Vim and VI use the U, colon U or colon undo commands. If you are in insert or any other mode. Press the escape key to go back to the normal mode. Which is also known as command mode. Type U to undo the last change. In Vim, the U command also accepts quantifiers. For example, if you want to undo the four last changes, you would use for U. Make sure you are typing lowercase U, not the uppercase U command, which undoes all latest changes on one line. If you accidentally type U, you can undo the change with U. Substitute command in VI Editor. To search and replace in the VI Editor, we have to use the command substitute or the shorter option S. Please note that all the substitute commands give below have to run in the command mode of the editor. We will use this test file for all the examples. 
the syntax of the command is as shown on page. Range, specifies the lines in which the replacement has to be carried out. If left blank the current line is considered. Flags, controls various OAT features of the substitue, we will see a few options. Count, the count number of replacements are carried out in the file. Examples Simple substitute in the current line. Replacing only one occurrence. To replace a string only in the line the cursor is present it we can use. If we want to replace the word is with was in the first line of the example file then move the cursor to first line and execute the command. Colon s forward slash is forward slash was forward slash. As a result of this the first occurrence of is in the line will be replaced by was. Replacing all the occurrences. If we want the same command to be applied to all the matching stings in the current line. We will have to use the flag g, which means global. Colon s forward slash is forward slash was forward slash g. To be prompted before each replace. If we want to be prompted for confirmation before replacing the string, we can use the flag c. The matched string will be highlighted and will be presented with the options. Y, to confirm the substitution. L, to indicate that this should be last substitution and substitution should stop after this. N, to skip substituting and move to next match. Escape, to stop substituting. A, to substitute the current as well as all the future matches. Control E, to scroll up. Control E to scroll down. Example. Colon s forward slash is forward slash was forward slash cg. To replace in the whole file. To apply the same command to all the lines in the file we will have to specify the range. The range is given in line numbers, so to specify the whole file we can use the range 1. Dollar sign which indicates starting from the first line till the end of the file, which is indicated by the symbol dollar. X maple. Colon 1, dollar sign s forward slash is forward slash was forward slash g. To replace in the whole file. To apply the same command to all the lines in the file we will have to specify the range. The range is given in line numbers, so to specify the whole file we can use the range 1. Dollar sign which indicates starting from the first line till the end of the file. Which is indicated by the symbol dollar. Restricting to specific lines. The range can also be restricted to a specific line numbers by using the numbers in the range file. For example if we want to replace the word Linux with Linux in lines 2, 3 and 4 we can pass the range 2, 4. Note, we can use the command colon set number to find out the line numbers. In built options. The substitute commands also has few useful options for the search strings. For example the option reverse slash u converts the next character to uppercase. The above command searches for the string Linux. The reverse slash zero points to the whole matched pattern that is Linux in this case. Thus we are replacing Linux with Linux, but we have also added the reverse slash u option before reverse slash zero. Thus the next character after reverse slash u that is l in this case gets converted to uppercase converting the string from Linux to Linux. How to show or hide line numbers in Vim text editor. Make the Vim text editor show or hide line numbers. Vim can display line numbers in the left margin. Press escape key. At the colon prompt type the following command to run on line numbers colon set number. To turn off line numbering, type the following command at the colon prompt set non number. Let us see all commands in detail to display line number in Vim. Vim show line number command. To display line numbers along the left side of a window. Type any one of the following command while using text editor. First press the escape key. Press colon and type any one of the following command at a colon prompt colon set number or set nu. Relative line numbers under Vim. Relative line numbers only work with a Vim text editor. Hence, if you are using the old VI version, the following two commands will not work. Want to display relative line numbers in Vim? Try colon set relative number or set or nu. How to turn off line numbering in Vim. To turn off or hide line number again enter the same command at the colon prompt colon set new exclamation or set no number. To turn off relative line numbers, try. Set no relative number or set no or new. Go to line first line to last line. Jump to the last line in Vim. It does not matter which row or column you are in Vim. To move your cursor to the last line, simply press an uppercase G in normal mode and your cursor will move to the first character of the last line. 
Another way to jump to the end of a file is by using the escape plus control plus n key combination. Jump to the first line in Vim. There are several ways you can jump to the first line in Vim. Since these are Vim commands, make sure that you are in normal mode before pressing any keys. To jump back to the first line of the file, you can use either one of the following commands. 1G. This command tells Vim to move the cursor to line 1, as specified in the command. GG. Typing GG has the same impact on cursor location, the cursor is moved to the first column of the first row. I prefer using GG instead of 1G as it is easy to type 2G and end up on the second line. Instead of that, you can also use the escape plus control plus home key combination to move your cursor to the first line of any file. Interview questions. There are the following statements that are given below, which of them are correct about VI the editor. The VI editor is also known as a visual editor. The VI editor is used to create and edit text files. It is a very user-friendly editor and works on different distributions of Linux. Vim is the improved version of the VI editor. Answer. All statements above are correct about the VI editor. Which of the following mode are used in the VI editor? Insert mode. Command mode. Both of the above. None of the above. Both of the above is correct answer. Both insert mode and command mode are used in the VI editor. Which of the following command is used to save and quit from the VI editor? Colon Q. Colon Q. Colon WQ. Colon Q exclamation. Colon WQ is correct answer. The colon WQ command is used to save and quit from the VI editor. Which of the following command is used to quit with discarding changes from the VI editor? Colon small Q. Colon capital Q. ZZ. Colon Q exclamation. Colon Q exclamation is correct answer. The colon Q exclamation command is used to save and quit from the VI editor. ZZ command is also used to save and quit from the VI editor? Yes. No. Yes is correct answer. Yes, the ZZ command is also used to save and quit from the VI editor. Which of the following commands are used to switch from command mode to insert mode in the VI editor? I. A. O. O. All given commands are used to switch from command mode to insert mode in the VI editor. Which of the following command is used to start typing at the end of the current line in the VI editor? Capital case A. Small case A. O. O. The command capital A is used to start typing at the end of the current line in the VI editor. Which of the following command is used to move up in the VI editor? I. H. J. K. K is right answer. The K command is used to move up in the VI editor. Which of the following command is used to move left in VI editor? I. H. J. K. H is correct answer. The H command is used to move left in the VI editor. Which of the following command is used to move to the last line in the file? G. K. Dot. Double comma. G is correct answer. The G command is used to move to the last line in the file. Thank you for watching this video. We provide Hansman training with Labs Homework Group Projects. Prepare you for the certification. Provide real projects. Internship opportunities. Support you in Resume LinkedIn. Staffing support. Provide tech references. In-person online class. Class retake options and more. Call us at 847-350-9034 for your free career consultation meeting. Please do not forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel for the latest videos.